Hi guys, uh, very good morning. Okay, uh, today we gonna talk about the Sri Raja Gopalachari. Okay, who was he? He was the first Governor General of India. Okay, first Indian Governor General of India, right? Even after India become independence, okay, or you can say the transfer of power from the British Parliament to Indian Parliament, UK Parliament to Indian Parliament, okay. He also was the first Governor General, okay, of Free India, Sri Raja Gopalachari. Uh, so he was also the premium of the Easter while premium of Easter while Madras presidency right so why he the so he was also a member of Indian National Congress right he was representing from, uh, he was born in the Hosur okay Hosur is a very industrial area in the Tamil Nadu nearby Bangalore okay it come under Krishna Giri Krishna Giri district of Tamil Nadu right so let's go ahead and talk something more he grew up in the po uh, political arena mostly in the 1922 which was held at the Gaya in the state of Bihar right he said that colonial he, he said that, that there should be uh, he was against the uh, colonial uh, administration and participation participation on diarchal legislation okay you already know the government of india was uh, government of india act was passed in 1990 so he uh, see rajago Chari was against uh, uh, participation of a uh, uh, colonial administration right and the participation of diarchal legislation right the UPSC always asks the question something like the critical her analysis type okay uh, when he grow up the more that's the uh, held in the guy in 1922 that's kind of the question asked by UPSC okay that's why it is tough examination right so there was also happened uh, 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 no changers okay and there was another thing pro changers so C. Rajagopali Chari was part of no changers, right? Uh, means you can say that the INC was, uh, INC even other party, the smaller party wanted to uh, participate in election for the councils, okay? Municipal councils and you administrative councils, something they have, okay? So very important factor is so he also part he participated in Vaikam Satyagraha. You already know what is the Vaikam Satyagraha. We cannot go into deep because the time is very less. I am just giving you uh, what exactly happened. Okay, it was happening in 1924-25, right? And very important fact I am going to tell you. This is very important for the if you are preparing for any state PCS or UPSC. When Mahatma Gandhi uh, broke Dan Dan Dandi March, right, and broke the salt law, broke the salt law, right. So Sri Raja Gopalachari uh, also participated where in the southern part of India, okay. Along with Sardar Vidaratnam, along with uh, Sardar Vidaratnam, he broke the salt law in the South India nearby Veda. Raniyam, Vedaraniyam uh, nearby Nagapattinam in Tamil Nadu. Right, got it? So, this is a very uh, conceptual question because uh, UPSC always asks like a uh, Dandi Marsh was done by Mahatma Gandhi, okay? Uh, to broke the salt law in the in the Gujarat or uh, you can call it the former Madras uh, sorry uh, Bombay presidency okay uh, so Sri Raja Gopalichari broke down the salt law in the southern part of India nearby Nagapattinam right along with Sardar Vedaratnam right so he participated in election of uh, he also participated at the election uh, okay uh, so you already know the government of India act not 1990 I'm talking about the 1935 okay I'm talking about 1935 when the first general election was held in 1937 
ओके फर्स्ट जनरल इलेक्शन सो ऑलरेडी आई एन सी इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस वीन इन मद्रास राइट मद्रास वॉज क्वाइट बिग यार फ्रॉम होल आंध्र प्रदेश ओके एंड इवन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ गंजम एंड इन उड़ीसा दे वॉज पार्ट ऑफ मद्रास मैंगलोर विच इज इन कर्नाटका ओके डेट वॉज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ मद्रास डेट वॉज सो बिग राइट when he become the premium of uh, the madras presidency okay he pass a law called as a temple entry temple entry authorizes authorization and indemnity indemnity act okay uh, 1939 so what is this all about right After the passing of this uh, this law in 1939 by Sri Raja Gopal Acharya as the premium of Madras presidency, uh, what happened? The Dalit, okay, Dalit are a lord in the temples, Hindu temples, okay. Also, in the same year, Minakshi Temple in Madurai, right? That was also open for the Dalits. That is a very important conceptual question, right? and he was when uh, uh, india got independence he became the first chief minister of madras uh, state okay so he said that there's uh, means he always wanted to make the compulsory hindi okay uh, in government schools because you already was in the so much politics you know the value of hindi language okay that unite the india if you want to grow up you have to uh, meet every part of india either it's north east northern western central so hindi was the uniting language okay so he wanted a, a, a pro uh, hindi or uh, you leader you can say that in southern part of india so in 1957 what happened in 1957 what happened he formed congress reform committee okay obviously that there should be uh, when a leader is so much long years in a party differences uh, happen okay so that was the same 1940s when he formed congress reform committee right after that he formed uh, another party in 1959 you know what was called swatantrata party right uh, this party was totally uh, means um, where our leaders was lord easter while prince lee stayed the king of easter while a king or prince so you can call power of easter while prince lee state okay just like i am giving you example raja of ramgarh okay which come in jharkhand kalahandi okay raj darbhanga राज दरभंगा इन बिहार ओके हुम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ही एस ई फॉर्म दिस टू पार्टी विथ मीनू मसानी ओके विथ मीनू मसानी एज वेल एज मुरारी वैद्या got it and the very important thing our uh, sri raja gopal chale invited jay prakash narayan jay prakash narayan okay that's a very revolutionary leader in indian politics okay post india independence 
so he also invited sira ragobles sorry jay prakash narayan to join the swatantrata party which he founded in 1959 okay but jay prakash narayan never joined that swatantrata party right that for all today guys right if you have any doubt you can share me on the whatsapp if you want to join my course you can join okay this is totally for the uh, freshers okay uh, who do not have idea who is not coming from uh, art section or the uh, it means the fresher you understand was doing the engineering okay they have done the btech or they are coming from a uh, medical field so this foundation course is all about for them okay and who are studying in the colleges of arts and the commerce so that is for foundation course right please like share and subscribe okay